Ashley, come up and receive your award, the Alan Shepard Technology and Education Award. Alan Shepard, one of the original Mercury astronauts, was the first American to fly in space and one of only 12 humans who have walked on the moon. He was also an early director of the Astronauts Memorial Foundation. In his memory, the Space Foundation, NASA, and the Astronauts Memorial Foundation created the Alan Shepard Technology and Education Award, which is presented annually to a pre-K through 12 district or national level educator. The Shepard Award recognizes excellence in the development and application of technology in the classroom or to the professional development of teachers. The 2017 Alan Shepard Technology and Education Award is presented to eighth grade physical science teacher Ashley Blackstone Smith. For almost 14 years, Smith has led her students well beyond the standard Michigan physics curriculum into space. Smith's dedication to her students is most apparent in her diligent efforts to bring outside resources into the classroom. She has developed several space-related curricula, facilitated local and national programs with NASA, and leveraged corporate-sponsored science initiatives, many of which carry scholarship opportunities. In recognition of her commitment to empowering students from all walks of life with science, technology, engineering, and math, the Space Foundation congratulates Ashley Blackstone Smith, winner of the 2017 Alan Shepard Technology and Education Award. to speaking to like 16 to 20 kids at a time. <laughs> I'm honored and humbled to be standing before all of you. Thank you to the Space Foundation, Astronauts Memorial Foundation, NASA, and the Shepard family for this incredible opportunity. It's not every day that teachers are recognized for the work they do in the classroom. While much of the work of teachers is individualized, I would not be standing before you today if it were not for the efforts and talents of many dedicated educators who have inspired me, supported me, and provided me the resources and opportunities to inspire others. To my employer and colleagues at Cranbrook Educational Community who encouraged me and provided me the freedom to try new things and incorporate aerospace education in my physical science curriculum, a big thanks. To my husband, Michael, and our two little boys, Wyatt and Cody, thank you for putting up with my stress and my late hours, which I call my innovation time. <laughs> A long due thank you to my high school science teachers, Todd Vince, David Glenn, and Scott Short, who instilled in me a love of science and passion for teaching and later helped me hone in my skills as a teacher. It was my space camp experience that was a catalyst in my effort to redesign my curriculum to focus on aerospace. I'm grateful for the funding and opportunities that Honeywell afforded me and other educators in supporting us to attend the Space Academy for Educators. I'm fortunate to collaborate with organizations like Space Center Houston and CASIS who continue to fuel my fire through their teacher ambassador programs. Rapidly increasing populations, finite resources, and a changing world pose significant challenges to our children and future scientists. Paramount in solving these problems and creating a more sustainable, harmonious society is the training of inspired, solution-oriented scientists and engineers. Historically, society has focused on training only 50% of our children for these careers. My passion is inspiring and preparing girls with the knowledge and confidence to pursue STEM-related careers and to ensure that they have equal access to opportunities. Thank you.